welcome back. Um, Chuck Martinez Brandon joined by Tim McDonough and Len Grahl. And we're just going to talk a little bit about some spring sports, maybe a little bit about the, the wrap of the NCAA men's basketball tournament that was last night. Uh, I guess talk about that first, Lenny. What did, you're the guru. What did you think of that final game? Well, that was one of the, the craziest final games and the funnest, I think, to watch that, that maybe we've ever seen. I mean, Butler had a couple chances at there at the end and probably were five inches away from when you combine both of those shots, either one of them going in and that shot at the buzzer. We were talking about this earlier this morning. If that would have went in, where would have that ranked in the sports yeah. oh. world? I mean, of wow. all time, I mean, win a national yeah. championship on a, on a half quarter. On a horn. half court, yeah, yeah. that would have been something else. Wouldn't it? Yeah. Wow. Yep. It would have been a great moment. That would have been right up there, probably with, I don't know, Jordan making his shots and yeah. of all time. So Yeah, I don't know if you've ever seen one right at the buzzer, though, you know. I yeah. Don't, oh, I think yeah. There's and never an, been yeah. One. And an NCAA championship Keith Smarts game. Smarts was, was, what, with three seconds yeah. or so? Yeah, so, at the buzzer, yeah. wow, that would have been sweet. And, you know, everyone was saying beforehand, oh, you know, Duke will wear them down and this and that. I mean, Butler was there. Yeah. They, I mean, they beat some, some good teams to get there, and they almost they almost won a national yeah. championship. Yeah, to beat Kansas and Kansas State and Syracuse and, and teams like that and almost beat Duke is yeah. right. that's saying something with a school that's got, what, 4,200 <laughs> right, students. Right, exactly, yeah. exactly. They play at Hinkle Fieldhouse where yeah. they filmed Hoosiers. Yeah, what a, yeah. What a kind of a sequel that would have been to <laughs> yeah. Hoosiers. You know, yeah. A, yeah. a team from yeah. Hinkle Fieldhouse won on a national yeah. title. But. That would have been something. The Butler way. That's right. The Butler way. Yeah, exciting game. Let's talk about uh, some games that we're going to be going to tonight. WBL action starts baseball and softball. Where are you going to be at, too? I'm heading to Elida. Right. See, bet all the Bulldogs. Defiance has won 32 straight Western Buckeye right. League games. Haven't lost one in the league in over three years. When they went seven and two, won the last three outright, going nine and zero. Oh, and everyone says that they're favored to do it again. Uh, I, don't, I, I, Elida was won two games last year. They're a lot better, but I don't think they're as good as Defiance. So I think win thirty three is coming tonight. Dace Kine pitched Saturday, so he's not getting the start tonight. But he'll be ready if they need him to. They want him to pitch Friday against Bath. Who's uh, who's maybe Defiance's biggest challenge? Do you think this year in the league? In the league? Yeah. Oh, definitely Salina. Uh, they have the Waterman kid who beat them a couple years ago in the in the uh, district semis when they were the number one team in the state. He's a senior now. He's got this big sweeping curveball, and when he gets that thing going, he doesn't throw hard, but it makes his fastball look good. I think Salina is probably the second best team. A lot of a lot of people are talking about Wapak. They got the Voorhees kid who threw a perfect game against Shawnee last year. He's a lefty. He's gonna he's gonna give. Uh, some teams in WBL, some problems. And then everyone was talking about St. Mary's. I, they were young last year and didn't have a great year. I think they were around 500, but people think that they're going to be good. So I think that's the way the Western Buckeye League shaping up in baseball. You, you got, what about softball? Right? Softball uh, kicks off the night. Elida comes here to town, I guess. Um, Defiance uh, won a co-title a year ago with Bath. And, you know, Laura Ford and, and the and the lineage down there at Bath and what she's done with the softball world. Um, I think she's closing in on 550 wins, which I think is second in the in the state. And uh, wow. I think Bath is, has got to be right up there again. Um, Walpock's got a lot back, and, and they should have a good chance. Um, and then Defiance, you got to throw them in the mix. They've been in it here the last few years. Yeah, so. they're off to a pretty good start, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they're off to a 3-1 and one start. Um, only lost to a good Napoleon team who's who's 5-1 and one on the year. So uh, Defiance is off to a good start. Uh, they get Elida tonight, who's kind of been off to a rough start, but uh, hopefully they get off to a, a quick start here in the league. You haven't covered anything, Chuck, but you've been, uh, where you're a jack of all trades. Right? Right. You're, you're, you're a writer slash photographer, That's Chuck right. Martinez Brandon. You've been out I've shooting, talking about that. Taking pictures. Last thing I shot was a little Defiance College track, old uh, trip at a DHS grad. Did a, I watched a little bit of pole vaulting while I was there. Thought to myself, I must have came late. I don't even see him anywhere around. That's because he's up eating popcorn. He comes. Everybody else is done. Here, here he comes. He just... <laughs> jumps and he's done, walks away, beats everybody by, I don't know. I'm not a big pole vault guy, but 10 foot, I don't know. <laughs> so, <laughs> world record. Yeah, world record. <laughs> but no, Trivich says he's having a good season out there. That was the last thing I shot. And then I've been with Lenny watching the Lady Bulldogs. We went up to Archbold and watched the extra inning affair, even though I didn't stay till the end. But, but yeah, the Lady Bulldogs play well. And Archbold, they've got a lot of people back, too. So their softball team be doing pretty well here. Uh, how about uh, yesterday was the opening day for uh, the major leagues, and uh, out of the three of us sitting here, I think uh, only one of us, one of our teams won. Uh, yeah. It wasn't us, was it, Lady? <laughs> <laughs> what 
Chuck's birds on bat beating my runs. And, and guess what? Albert Pujols hits two homers. What a surprise. I never would have thunk it. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. They, should, they should have been chanting MVP yesterday. If he plays like that, I'll hear he's going to hit 326 home runs or whatever it is. 328 home runs this year. Yeah, that's right. He's going to set Shatter some sort of record. Yeah. Yeah, my Cubs just got throttled yesterday by Atlanta. Yeah. Big Z, what do you go, one and a third? Yeah. Woo, that's the Jason Hayward spin. with that big homer. <laughs> 20 years old. Yeah. I, I, haven't yeah. seen, I haven't seen the video yet. Yeah. i got to see that. I guess His first swing, first swing in the majors. Yeah, just yeah that's 20 right years old. Atlanta. I can't imagine that. That's playing crazy. in front of that many yeah. people yeah. And doing that. Yeah, yeah, three of us are NL Central, guys. I think uh, only one of us is going to be happy. I don't think it's going to be us. Yeah. <laughs> well, Andre, we'll, we'll be modest for another week or so. Yeah. Speaking of the major leagues, we got a couple of guys that are that are pitching the major leagues from Defiance. Yeah. Chad is uh, in the three hole right now for the Dodgers, and so is John Neese, who's starting his first spring ever with the Mets, and he's going to start. They're both start. They're both starting Thursday. Chad at Pittsburgh, and John at home against Florida. So that should be interesting. And the and the one thing that's really cool about those two guys is that in in June they're both going to be in Ohio at yeah. the same time. The Mets are at Cleveland the fifteenth, sixteenth, and seventeenth. And the Dodgers are in Cincinnati, the 15th, 16th, and 17th. And uh, Chuck and I, it looks like we're going to be making a couple road trips That's heading right. to Cleveland and Cincinnati road to check trip. that out. Yeah, We're planning <laughs> on doing a video diary of what we're going to be doing, hopefully get some uh, video of those guys too, yeah. so that should be cool. And then that weekend, of course, is Sam Hornish Jr. racing at MIS, so we're yeah. going to be there l later in the week, so it's going to be a busy week for us. We're racing, week. yeah, Northwest Ohio, and then you've got the Ohio Women's Open here in town too, so that's a professional sports. Defiance is the hotbed, so in June, be ready if you like sports. The local athletes are... You guys lead me back here to, to do all the work. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I have a lemon icy for you. Yeah. Thanks, yeah. A yeah. Thanks, Thanks a lot. They're doing nice right there in Cincinnati with the lemon icy. Yeah, we'll be thinking Make of Make sure it. you stop at Burbank. So you're <laughs> that sounds like a great idea. Yeah. Well, I think that's everything we have for yeah. you this week, right? You got anything else we need to talk about? think that's it well we'll be updating it hey we need some more we need some challenge chucks here it's spring we got to come up with something hopefully you guys can send something to us cn sports at crescent hyphen news.com and as always check us out here www.crescent hyphen news.com thanks and we'll see you